Hey guys, so today in this video, I'd like to share with you guys how I made this leopard print slash giraffe print polymer clay canes. It's really simple and easy and if you're interested, keep on watching. Ingredients that you will need. Pause if you have to. So first, I'm gonna just roll this gold color into a lot. You can choose any color that you want. Just roll it into a shape like this, make sure it's even, thickness and things like that. And now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to just put this into my condition machine, clay conditioning machine or pasta machine. Or you can just roll it with your roller, that totally depends to you if you don't have a pasta machine. I'm going to just roll this into my pasta machine using the thickest setting, which is for me is number 9. Just use the thickest setting. And this is what you're gonna get. So just repeat the same process with the 10 color clay. So now what we have is a lock of gold color clay and a black color clay at the ticket setting and a 10 color clay at the ticket setting. So what we're gonna do next is really simple. Just wrap the gold color lock of clay in the black clay. Make sure that your clay, the gold color and the black color is of the same length. See, it's of the same length. So what we're going to do next is just basically don't roll the whole thing. Just leave some space to make the leopard print more, um, I would think is more realistic. Something like this. Okay, and what we're going to do next is wrap the tan color clay all the way around it. Just measure the clay, and obviously, as you can see, my tan clay is longer, so I'm just gonna cut off the excess here. And just wrap it up. And this is how it looks like. I just wrapped the tan color all around the lock of gold and the black. And now what I'm going to do next is just make it bigger by reducing it. How do you reduce it is to just press the middle, start from the middle. I'm not sure if you can see. If you, if you just roll it up like that, you, you will end up to have a lot of waste in the side at the, at the end of the clay canes you will have a lot of uh, waste if you have done clay bef cane before you should have known I really have a lot of brain farts today sorry so you just start from the middle and make sure the tips doesn't move just starts from the middle and then until you have the 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 size of the diameter that you want then you stop and move forward to the front So now I reduce the size into a smaller diameter like that. And what I'm going to do next is just cut into three equal pieces. Obviously there's some that's higher. Okay, so I'll just keep this guy away and this too. This one I'll just make it I'll just reduce it further, like just now how we do it. And this is what we get now. See how this is so big and this is so small. And I'm going to cut this further into just cut away the part here which is the, the waste like I say just cut it off and now I'm just kind of cut this into two 
okay so now this guy I'm just gonna make it into a long shape you know how usually the leopard print their spots is not really have um they don't really have very how would I say it very regular brown round spots they usually have like long spots and uh, not so long spots small spots and you know round and long spots so what I'm gonna do next is just make this longer make reduce this into smaller gosh I'm not really used to doing this um how to do videos so I can't really do it and talk at the same time does that make sense so weird so yeah what I'm going to do now is just cut this off again into half and this is how it looks like you can just form the shape into a long one instead of round just depends to you if you want it to be round or long or whatever like if you want this guy to be round then just make it into a round one if this guy to be a long just make it into a long one yep and see this one is obviously bigger than this guy so what I'm gonna do now is just stack all of them together irregularly just stack the small and the big and the I think this guy is kinda too huge what I'm gonna do next is just cut this into half so they all have the same length yep. something like that see so now what I'm going to do is just stack all of them together Let me just cut this off here. And this is how that looks like so like leopard print and what we're gonna do now is just get and just condition this clay into the ticket setting again and wrap it around this like how we did it just now please do not wrap a tank clay around it because it looks much better without it and here I'm reducing the clay further See now it's so much smaller, so now what I'm going to do next is just cut it into half again. Ouch, it's too small. So just stack them all together again. So that now I have something like that. I'm thinking to reduce it again so that I have uh, four squares. What I'm gonna say is, I actually think that we shouldn't just put it like that. We can actually, if you want, you can actually just make them like different patterns. Like instead of like make them same like a mirror image, you can just make it like that. Or like, because you know, like rapid print is not regular, the spot. So I would definitely prefer if like they are everywhere. So what I'm going to do next is just make them stack together and make them, I'm going to reduce it further, like how we did just now.
so I already reduced them to be like that so I'm going to just cut them into half again you can actually just stop just now if you do not like the designs to be like that you can just stop right away Crushed. I think we'll be like that so now I'm going to start to make it into a square So this is the leopard print that I have right now. You can actually do reduce it and make it longer, like make it smaller size, or you can just done with like this. This is how they look like. And you can use it to make beautiful jewelry. Let's just cut off the excess outside there and see how that looks like oh gosh I don't even know how to cut it gosh. the leopard print this is how the cut looks like. You can make it do a pendant. That's all for today and hope you guys enjoyed this video. So for my next video, I'm going to share with you guys how I use these canes to make beautiful jewelry such as earrings, bangles, necklaces and rings. And I'm sorry if I sound awkward in this video because this is my first time doing a how to do video. So it's kind of like hard for me to explain and do it at the same time. So I have a lot of brain farts everywhere. So and that's all for today and bye. See you guys.